Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to use columns function in Excel. Columns function is most useful when you want to identify the number of columns in an array. So I'll show you how this function works. I type columns and I type the cell reference which is A1 is to A1. You can see that it takes an array as uh, the argument and I hit control enter and you can see that it returns 1. Uh, it returns 1 because between A1 and A1 there is only one column that is column A. What if I change this array? So let me show you. I type columns and I type A1 is to D1 and I hit control enter and here it returns 4. The reason is that between A1 and D1 there are 4 columns instead of typing a reference I'll show you what happens if I have something like this so if I have 1 comma 2 comma 3 semicolon 4 comma 5 comma 6 I close the curly bracket and I close the parenthesis and I hit control enter this gives me 3 because there are three columns. A comma in a formula represents column while a semicolon represents a row. So in this case there are three columns which is one and two and three. You may be thinking how can this be the case why would I ever use this but there are instances where a formula returns you this value and in this case if you use columns then you would know that a comma always represents a column while a semicolon represents a row. Now let me show you a, a very interesting way to use this function. So here I type columns columns, and I use a1 is to a1 again and I hit control enter. Now this returns 1 but what happens if I lock the first cell reference? I lock a1 by hitting f4 and I hit enter. So now this is 1 but when I drag it to the next cell this becomes 2. The reason is that the reference changes. So here I have logged A1 but this A1 is not logged. So when I go forward to this cell this automatically becomes a B1 while this remains A1. So this is a good trick when you have a list or you are dragging a formula and you want the numbers to get incremented by 1 in columns then you can use this trick. So this is how columns function works in Excel. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.